As researchers, it's important that we know how to talk to people about our research. That's why Baylor College of Medicine has made these buttons available. Just pick one up, put it on, and start a conversation. It's also why I'm here with my friend Edmund, to show you how fun it is to talk about our work. Hi, Edmund. Hello. I hear that you think worms are cool. Mm -hmm. Do you have some questions for me about what we do? Yes. Our lab? Yes. So, why exactly do you work with worms? So, our lab really, really likes to think about brains. I have a brain, you have a brain. But our brains are super big. They have millions and millions of cells inside of them. So it's sometimes really hard to figure out what's going on inside those neurons in our brain. But the worms that we study, they only have 300 neurons. And so it's really easy to start with a very simple system. And you know what's really cool? Is that even though they only have 300 neurons, they can learn and remember like you and me. How do you teach them to do that? How do we teach them to do that? What's your favorite food? I would say maybe spaghetti. <gasps> spaghetti. So it turns out that we know what the worm's favorite food is too. We take their favorite food and we pair it with a smell. And so that that way they learn to like the smell because they think it comes with their favorite food. And then we can ask them, do you like the smell by just putting them on a simple plate and seeing if they crawl towards the smell that we've taught them to like. And so we're just asking worms, do you like a smell or you don't like a smell? Before or after teaching them that it comes with food. How long do most worms live? They only live about 19 days. And what's really cool about the worms is that, you know how sometimes when people get older, they have a hard time remembering things as well? Yeah, yeah so the worms also, as they get older, they don't learn and remember as well either. But it only takes them a week to not be very good at learning and remembering things. So we can figure out why do we forget as we get older really, really quickly. Where do you keep them in the lab? Oh, so normally in nature, these worms live in the dirt and they like to eat rotting fruit and things like that. So they actually like it a little bit cool. So what we actually do is that we take a little Petri dish, a clear plastic dish, and we put some bacteria on it because that's what they eat is bacteria. Not, path, not bacteria that'll make you sick, just things that live in the environment. Mm -hmm. And so we just put them on those plates and we have them in a special incubator and we can change how fast the worms grow by changing the temperature that, of the incubators. And so if you make it a little bit colder, they'll slow down a little bit. You know how like when it's cold here, you just kind of want to lay down. Mm -hmm. It slows them down too. How do they stay alive in extremely cold weather? That's a really good question. So these worms are, have these really, really neat features. So it turns out that we can actually not just put worms at really, really cold temperatures, we can freeze them in our freezers and keep them there for months, for years. I have some worms that I froze down before you were born and then we can take them out of the freezer, put them on a new plate with food, and they'll wake back up and keep on living. Isn't that neat? Do you know how they do that? You know, we don't know how they do that. That's a really great question. When they, we thaw them, they look kind of like sticks. They just lie there straight like this. And then they slowly, slowly, slowly wake up. When it gets warm, you kind of see them start to be like, oh, and they move a little bit. And then they start swimming because we freeze them down in some liquid. Um, and so it's almost like, yeah, they just got so really cool. worms. Yeah, they're like mummy worms or zombie worms, maybe. Yeah, Slowly. mummy zombie worms. Mummy zombie worms, exactly. They kind of move like that and then they slowly come back to life. And then you've got your worms again.